Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be playing a little game tag thing that I've seen many people do over the years and that I want to do myself. Today, I'm going to be playing the reread, rewrite or burn tag. The whole concept of this is that you put a bunch of names in a cup, you pick out three, and out of those three you pick which one you'll reread, rewrite, or burn. So very similar to like marry, kiss, cliff kind of tag, and I decided to do this one because I like talking about books. I might do the marry, kiss, cliff tag at some point, but I just wanted to talk about some of my favourite books. So I have this jar, this is from Illumicrate, it says read me on it, it's also my favourite colour, I love this colour. And this has got a bunch of names of some of my favourite books in here, mainly some books that I still love, some books I don't love as much anymore, but I'm going to pick out three at a time and talk about which one I'd reread, which one I'd rewrite, and which one I'd burn. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, because it depends on how long I take to decide. I think we might get through all of these by the end of the video, I'll have to see how long I'm filming for. So I'm going to pick my first three out of the tube, and then we shall see what my answers will be. So the first one that we have is Pivot Point, which I just recently reread from my 2014 rereading vlog, which I'll leave linked down below. Go check it out. I really love that video. I'm proud of it. Next one is this one, and that is going to be Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, which is interesting. I'll talk about why a bit later. <laughs> the final one is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is actually interesting because none of these I would say are like absolute favourite books of all time. Like I didn't pick Fangirl yet. <laughs> so, but Pivot Point I really, really love by Casey West. I just think it's so good. I reread it and I really loved it upon reread. Red Scrolls of Magic is actually my least favourite Cassandra Clare book. Actually, maybe City of Bones is. But that series is definitely my least favourite. I don't really enjoy it as much as the other series. And then Vampire Academy is an old favourite that I've never reread. I read it for the first time in 2013 and I've never read it since. I'm definitely going to reread Pivot Point, even though I just finished rereading it, but that's the point because it's my favourite of these three books, I think. I don't know because I could rewrite Red Scrolls so that it's a little bit better and I like it a little bit more, but also, I don't really like the fact that Red Scrolls exists. I think it is just fan service. I don't think that trilogy needs to exist. It kind of adds nothing to the story because each of the books have so far been set in between other books. So there's no, like no stakes because you know what happens with Magnus and Alec at the end of the day. So I might rewrite Vampire Academy and fix some of the elements of it, though I haven't reread it in years. So I don't know what the problematic elements are if there are any I assume there are and then I'll probably burn red scrolls just because I I don't think it needs to exist I'm such a big Shadowhunters fan but I just don't think that series needs to exist so time for the next selection let's see what we get this time so the first one I'm picking out is what is it Love from A to Z by S.K. Ali, which is a recent favourite. I read it for the first time in July didn't think I'd like it it's a very unexpected favourite but I do like it <laughs> Second pick for this round is this one, which is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, which is my favourite adult romance of all time. I love that book so much. And then finally, we have Heartstopper by Alice Oseman, which is right there. Uh, oh, this is actually really hard. <laughs> Automatically, I think I'm going to have to burn Love from A to Z. As much as I like it, compared to the other two, it doesn't stand up as much. I mean, I only read it a couple of months ago, whereas Hating Game I read three years ago and Heartstopper I read two years ago for the first time so those have kind of stuck with me more this one I'm not sure if I'll ever reach to reread it but it's definitely my least favourite of the three it's hard to pick which is my favourite between The Hating Game and Heartstopper because they're entirely different whilst they are both romance centric The Hating Game is an adult romance and Heartstopper is a YA romance graphic novel and it's always weird <laughs> I will probably say reread The Hating Game because I reread this quite frequently like actually a lot and I'll probably rewrite Heartstopper I don't know how I would change it how would I change Heartstopper <laughs> um I don't know I honestly don't know how I'd change Heartstopper because I don't know how I could rewrite it to make it better because I think it's great as it is um but maybe because it's not complete I think I feel more feelings towards the hating game because it's a complete story time for round three I think this is I can't count apparently so first one is American Royals by Catherine McGee, which is my favourite book of 2019. I love that book. I hope these are the ones I don't love as much, because that will be hard. <laughs> Next one is There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon, which is right there as well. Yeah. 
right there. I love this book. It's my favourite Sandia Menon book. It's one of my favourite YA romance books. I think it's great. And then my final one is Percy Jackson The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Oh, this is really, really hard. So Percy Jackson The Lightning Thief, I read for the first time in 2012 and I haven't reread it since. I've been meaning to, but I feel like if I'm going to reread it, I'm going to reread all of the Percy Jackson universe and then finally catch up with it. So that is a commitment. <laughs> American Worlds I read last year, I have since reread it. I read it to prepare for the sequel. I love the sequel as well. There's something about Sweetie I've never reread actually, now that I think about it. I think it came out two years ago, I never reread it, but I have really good feelings attached to it. I can't burn Percy Jackson, but I can't bring myself to burn any of the others. <laughs> Reread is definitely going to be American Royals. That's definitely my favourite of these three, I think, um, because it's just my favourite. It's just so dramatic. I love it. It's intense. It's just great. Then which one would I rewrite and which one would I burn? <laughs> I don't know. This is really hard. My gut instinct is telling me to burn Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which is really sad, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And this was really instrumental to my reading but something about sweetie is kind of like whilst i love it it's kind of forgettable in the way that Percy jackson isn't so i think i will burn there's something about sweetie and then rewrite percy jackson again i don't know how i'd rewrite this to make it better i don't know how i'd fix percy jackson by rewriting it because i think it's a pretty fantastic book and fantastic series as it is so time for round four let's see what comes out this time <laughs> so we have the Selection by Kira Cass, which is an interesting pick. Then we have, what's next? Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill, which I read in August for the first time, actually. Very recent read. And then we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is really interesting, this selection. So The Selection is by Kira Cass. It's one of my guilty pleasure reads. I reread it earlier this year. I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's kind of cringe and terrible, but in a great way. I think it's fantastic. I wouldn't like it as much if I read it for the first time now, but it's great. Only Ever Yours was a really recent read that's objectively a really good book, whereas The Selection is very subjectively a good book. So Only Ever Yours is more well written and well plotted <laughs> and just better probably. And then finally Carry On, which I do love. I didn't like the sequel that much, but I love Carry On. Uh, I don't know. I genuinely think I might have to burn carry on uh just because i can't i think it's had less of an impact on me than the other stories have i think carry on is still a great story but it will never be as good as Fangirl. right there uh it just will never be at that level and the story of simon and bath lives on forever in Fangirl, even if i burn carry on so and i think i'll rewrite the selection because Let's be real, it could do with some rewriting. There are some elements that are just a bit weird and I would probably remove Aspen altogether because he is the worst. Um, but oh, I think it could, I think it could be improved by a little rewriting. So now I'd reread Only Ever Yours, which is interesting because I do want to reread that, but not now because I only read it for the first time two months ago. So at some point I do want to reread this. I find it interesting that a lot of my favorite books are still in here, like my ultimate favorites. So I hope they don't all come out in one go. <laughs> So this one we have, this is round five, I believe. So the first book in round five is Fangirl by Rainbow. I was just saying how none of my ultimate favorite books have come out. There it is. <laughs> I hope the other books make it a lot easier to pick. Book two for round five is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, which is already difficult. And the final one, please give me an easy one, please. Warcross by Marie Lou. You know what? I think this is pretty, like, I know what I'm going to pick for each one already. Fangirl is automatic reread. It's my favourite book of all time. I just finished a reread last night because I reread it, like, once a month. I reread this all the time. It is perfection in my eyes. I love it. <laughs> then I would probably rewrite Lady Midnight. The Dark Artifices is one of my favourite series of all time. And I think it's really great. But I think Lord of Shadows is the best. Lady Midnight's probably second. Queen of Darkness is definitely the worst book in that series. I didn't put individual books in series, I only picked one book for each series and I picked the first book. But I think Lady Midnight could do with some fixing. I don't think it needs to be as long as it is, personally. I think it feels very long because there's so many characters that you're following and it just feels long. Uh, whereas Lord of Shadows is pure perfection, so. So then I would have to burn Warcross by Marie Lou, which I love Warcross, it's one of my favorite books. I have never reread it, I read it for the first time 
two years ago, maybe three years ago, and I really loved it. I didn't like the sequel that much as well, but I loved the first book a lot. Sorry to burn it, but also it is the worst of the three options I picked, so. We're now on to round six, I believe. I'm not sure if I will get through all of these before I finish, but we shall see. First book for round six is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which is over there, but you can't see it because it's just out of frame. <laughs> the next book we have is this one, which is going to be, what is it? Unconventional by Maggie Harcourt. My handwriting is awful though. And then my final book for round six is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. We have a romance trio here. We have two YA romances and one adult romance. Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett is quite possibly my second favourite YA romance behind Fangirl. I love it. I haven't reread it in years though. Unconventional is one of my favourite UK YA romances. I think it might be my favourite UK YA romance. But again, I haven't read it since I first read it in 2016. The Unhoneymooners is one of my favourite adult romances and I have reread it a number of times. I reread it at the start of this year. I think it was the first book I read this year actually and I do love it. So I think I'm gonna reread The Unhoneymooners because it's my favourite of these three, I think. I just, I love a good enemies to lovers romance, like. <laughs> then I'm probably gonna rewrite Starry Eyes because I think it maybe could do with some improvement. I don't know, I haven't reread it in a while. So I probably have to reread it to rewrite it. But <laughs> could maybe do with some improvement here and there, which sadly means I'd have to burn unconventional. I don't know how sad I am about this because again I haven't read this in about five years so it's been a while since I read it and I don't remember it that well so that's why it's going in the burn category so we're now on to round seven out of I don't know how many they're gonna be I don't know if I have the right amount of papers in here to make it an even three per round so we shall see first book is Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman which is a great book I love that uh, second one is, what are you, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I feel like I need to swap my Infernal Devices shelf with my Mortal Instruments shelf so that my Infernal Devices shelf is in view, but. And the final book for this round is this one, which is Starflight by Melissa Landers, which is interesting. I think this round's actually pretty easy for me. I will automatically obviously reread Clockwork Angel. I reread this trilogy once a year, usually around Christmas time, because it's just so warming to me and comforting. And I just love it. And then between Noughts and Crosses and Starflight, it's kind of hard to pick because I don't remember Starflight that well. I read it, God knows how many years ago. I want to say 2017, maybe 2016, whenever it came out, whatever year it came out. I don't know what year it came out. Noughts and Crosses I read in 2018, but I know the story quite well, especially because last year I saw a play adaptation of it, and this year the TV show adaptation came out, so the story's kind of like stuck in my brain. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to rewrite Noughts and Crosses, fix some elements, there's mainly one big element that I want to fix, and that happens that I actually really really hate and I wish wasn't in the book, but fix some of that. And then I'll have to burn Starflight. Again, I've never reread this. I loved it so much the first time, but I need to have a reread at some point. But sadly, it's going in the bin and it's being burned, so. I've lost track of what round we're on. I wanna say this is eight, I think. Um, so the first one for round eight is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, which I do, I love that book. I haven't reread it again. You'll see a theme of some books that I've reread and some books that I never reread, mainly fantasies. <laughs> then we have Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which is my favourite book of 2020 so far, and it probably beats my favourite book of 2020 when the year ends because we've got two months left. <laughs> and the final book for this round is Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> this one's really hard. I love all three of these books a lot. Six of Crows is a wonderful fantasy series. I love it so much. I especially love Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> Chain of Gold is my favorite book of the year. I love the characters. I love James and Matthew and Cordelia. They're all so lovely. And then Illuminae is just a great fun book. I love it. It's something I need to reread. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to burn Illuminae just cause I don't have as many happy thoughts attached to it as I do with the other books. I think. I'm going to have to, even though Chain of Gold is my favourite book of the year so far, 
I still think I love Six of Cups a little bit more than I love Chain of Gold, which is quite sad. <laughs> so I'm gonna reread Six of Cups because it's due a reread. And then I'm gonna rewrite Chain of Gold. I don't know how I'd rewrite it, maybe make it a little bit shorter. Cassandra Clare books are just so long. But I love Chain of Gold a lot. There's a whole shelf dedicated to it. It's above this fine girl shelf, but there's a whole shelf of just Chain of Gold because I love it that much. But Six of Crows, I think, will reread, and then Chain of Gold will be a rewrite. There's only a few more left, so I'm just gonna finish it all. So we've got round nine, I think this is. The first book for round nine is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. You can see my many editions here. I have many of them. And then we have book two, which is, book two for this round is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo, which is one of my favorite books of the year as well. And then finally we have Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which you can just about see here in frame. I love this book, oh no. I think I'm gonna have to burn City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. As much as I love The Shadowhunter World, The Morning Prince is not my favorite series. City of Bones is definitely the worst Cassandra Clare book. It's the weakest, but it's also the most iconic because we've seen many adaptations of it. So I do like the story and it's like nostalgic to me, but it's gonna be burnt, I think. And then I'd probably rewrite Clap When You Land. I don't know how I'd rewrite it. I really love it as it is, so I don't know how it could be fixed, but I'll have to rewrite this and then reread Evelyn Hugo because it's one of the best books of all time. I have not reread it since I read it for the first time last year and I need to reread it, but it's a great book. I think this is round 10. There's only a few more in here. I think, oh, there are exactly enough in here for two more rounds. So let's see. Book one for round 10 is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Iconic. <laughs> then we have book two, which is, what is, what is book two? Book two is I Was Born For This by Alice Osman, which you can also see behind me. I have two copies. This is my finished copy and this is my arc up here. And then the final one for this round is going to be this one, which is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Oh no. <laughs> this is really, really hard. This is really, really hard and I don't know what to do. After much debating, I think I'm gonna have to burn The Cruel Prince because as much as I love this series, I just love the other two that little bit more, you know? Like, I love this a lot, but it's not quite on the same level as The Hunger Games and I was born for this, so I'm sorry, Cardin and Jude, you're being burnt. I was born for this in The Hunger Games. Um, I think I'm gonna reread The Hunger Games. I think that's more of a well-rounded story and a well-rounded book, in my opinion. I think it's done really well, and I just think it's really good. And then a rewrite i was born for this i think it could do with a little bit of improvement here and there it's not a perfect book so I'll rewrite so for the final round we have exactly three left and i know that i put two melinda salisbury books in here so two of these are the melinda salisbury books i don't remember what the third one is so let's see state of sorrow by melinda salisbury ah <laughs> oh, rites of passage by joanne hensley was the other one that i put in and then we have the sin eater's daughter by melinda salisbury um, it's kind of hard to do this because Rites of Passage is very different in vibe to the other two. I'm going to reread The Senator's Daughter, that is the most iconic to me. The Senator's Daughter is the most iconic one to me in terms of my reading, like, journey. It's very iconic to it, so that's going to be a reread. I'd probably rewrite State of Sorrow because I can't burn a Melinda Sauce book, I just can't do it. And I do really love this book, I think it's great. It could, I don't know where I'd rewrite it, but... That's where that's going. And then finally, Rites of Passage by Joy and Hensley will sadly be burnt. This is, I was gonna say a new favorite. I loved it when I read it in 2014, but then I completely forgot about it. And I just recently reread it for my 2014 rereading vlog and I loved it. So I'm sad to burn it, but it must go. So yeah, that was the reread, rewrite, burn tag. I wanna say reread, rewrite, reburn, but that's not right. I really enjoyed doing this. I want to do the versions for like Mary Kiss Cliff and everything like that because it's just a fun way to talk about books and I really like doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.